welcome welcome back again to another video today's video is going to be a mini vlog i'm heading out now i'm going to the market and the time now is um for um the time now is 4 47 a.m going to the early morning market the weather is still not bright you can see from my window the weather is still dark but this is me showing you how life in the province of the philippines is and it is safe or not for a lady like me living in the province of the philippines a foreigner to be heading out this early morning to the market i like going to the early morning market because things are quite cheaper and again i get to buy fresh things and um, in a cheaper rate as well so i'm heading out and um, this is just me coming up now to open this vlog to enjoy this vlog and i'll catch you guys later Now trying to get a jeepney.
Another half kilo. Half kilo. Yep. Half kilo. Just that. So small. Yeah. Oh, half kilo. Actually, you don't have. Plastic? No. no. One fifteen. See, yam. Yeah. See, cocoa yam. See, potatoes. See, um, this yam looks like water yam. Say, macano yam. This is the type of yam we have in the Philippines. Then we also have cocoa yam. The same price. 50? Yeah. Is that the last price? Yeah. Then this is the uh, sasap. Sasap. We have sweet cocoa. At a Macano. Um, 81 kilo. 81 yeah. kilo.
Welcome back, lovelies. I'm back from the market. In fact, I'm done cooking. I came back a bit angry because things are so expensive in the market now. Like the hike in prices of things. It's no go area. Even the money I took to the market, I just had to manage it. I was not even able to buy tomato today. I don't know if tomato is scarce or maybe it's out of season. Only one person, I saw just one woman that had tomato. I mean, um, I mean, um, fresh tomato. Only one person, like in the whole. Anyway, from the places I went, like the area, I, I don't know if it's the whole market. Although I know I walked, like I really moved around to see if I would get another place where they sell tomato. But I saw just one woman selling tomato, and the tomato, the price is too high. I mean, the last time I bought tomato, it was sold at um, 50 pesos. Yeah. So even then, I was still like 
this tomato is too expensive because before I buy tomato for 20 peso, 30 peso. Yeah, if it's even tomato season, we buy tomato as low as 5 peso, 10 peso. And for the woman selling tomato today, it's her luck. So the price 70 peso. Although 70 peso is not that high because there was even a time it was sold at 100 peso per kilo. I felt, okay, since this man was selling 70, let me move around. Maybe I'll meet another person selling tomato. Unfortunately, I did not see any other person selling tomato. And for me to go back to her, the distance, because I was already having things, like things I bought, it was heavy. I was already carrying some things in my hand things I bought from the market obviously so for me to go back to that woman to get to me so I felt okay maybe some other time let me skip making stew for today um, other things onion meat things I bought today guys things are really expensive like even normal wheat we used to buy for 22 25 peso per kilo now it's 35 37 peso what about palm oil? The palm oil is no go area. When I mean palm oil in Nigeria, they call it granite oil, but here in the Philippines, it is known as palm oil. So palm oil is even the one that is so surprising to me. The price of that palm oil now is so high, like it's double. Even more than, it's more than because before, what we used to buy for like 52 peso, per kilo it's sold for like hundred and something peso now like things are so expensive now in the market the only thing i bought from the market which i felt the price was um, considerably okay like in fact it was cheap was just the fish the fish i bought was sold for 100 per kilo although the seller told me 130 peso but i negotiated like i priced it and she ended up selling it 100 peso per kilo so i bought one and a half kilo which was sold for 150 peso so that was the only thing i bought from the market today that really gave me joy like i felt yeah the price is still very okay yeah this morning so okay love this i'm really furnished like i said i just finished cooking and thought i should come up here to update you guys before we going to the market as early as 4 a.m i went to the market around 4 47 49 a.m this morning and everywhere was dark but i tell you guys it is safe here in the philippines it is safe in the province where i am staying this is not to say that if you are in the philippines you should live carelessly as a foreigner you know what i mean it does not mean that if you are in a place as a foreigner in the philippines will i say i don't know the right words to use but, but let me use the word careless you don't have to be careless like okay they say philippines is safe so you come to the philippines and um you just walk or move anytime any day please before you do that be conscious of the area where you are living because yeah we know that philippines is not 100 percent safe no place is 100 percent safe even the country where i am coming from <laughs> i don't even want to go there that one the security is of zero level anyway that's not what i am saying here but the point i'm trying to make as a foreigner who is living in the philippines or as a student especially for new people in the philippines new students foreigners in the philippines do not be carried away by what um yeah we keep saying philippines is safe it is safe because the fact that even philippines is not 100 percent safe for you whether as a foreigner or for indigenous, I mean, where in the world is 100% safe? Where? I don't really know where in the world that is 100% safe. I think the only place that should be 100% safe should be heaven. And as far as we're on the planet Earth, you are in those worlds, you still need to be careful with your movements. And even as a foreigner staying in the Philippines, you need to be careful even the indigenous of this country like the people of the philippines the filipinos they will always advise us as a foreigner to be careful even the filipinos the indigenous of this country they are always very careful 
So, um, as a lady, I woke up this morning and I went to the market and I will tell you that I felt the safety because back where I am coming from, I dare not try that. Like, you cannot try that, you understand? But this note love is, I would like to end it here. I'll catch you all in my next video. Right now, it's time to eat. From the dust I was born To the dirt I shall return When my eyes are closed In the shadows My enemies will think they won But I'm here to stay Destiny will overcome No, I am not afraid Like a bee Like a fiend